Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, and I cannot wait to go through this 1977 Excalibur with you. A lot to go over, everything from the history of Excalibur to the particular ownership of this vehicle and some changes that have been done to it. Uh, starting off, Excaliburs were built in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. American car, American running gear, but they were really styled after the 1928 Mercedes-Benz SSK. This is now the third generation or series three of the Excalibur. So you start to lose some of that SSK look with these really cool uh, sloping fenders, really flared out in the back. Of course you get the, the very, very uh, visual side piping. One quick note, I'll stop and slow down on those side pipes. Those flex pipes always leaked. Cool thing about this car, is that the owner knew that so those are actually rigid piped and then closed system all the way through and then just sheathed in that flex pipe so that's not going to give you problems and you're going to be smelling exhaust as you're going down the highway lots of other really cool touches like that the other thing is that this is a roadster uh, really low production numbers in excaliburs for excaliburs uh, throughout its production cycle but um, always lower than the Phaetons, the uh, four-seaters. This two-seater, uh, for example, 1977, there was 15 main uh, compared to, uh, what's the number, 248 on the uh, Phaeton. So low production numbers, and I love the style. I think they get a little long. They get a little, uh, little crazy looking with the Phaetons. I mean, they make them both ways. This one happens to be uh, my favorite. Another thing too, just taking a look at this owner, the owner, here's a couple other of his vehicles that we have in. He's cleaning out his collection and that is a 54 VET and that's been resto modded, engine swapped in that and then this Cadillac Eldorado Baritz. So those are both on the website if you want to you know, try and get into the head of the owner of this car a little bit more. That's a good place to do it. He's very consistent in his quality. Anything that he does is top level and this Excalibur is no, uh, no exception to that. Like one point would be these wire wheels. Coming out of the factory, they were just steel wheels with hubcaps, hubcaps, pardon me. And we've got these nice wire wheels even on all the spares. And they do have the Excalibur center caps in there. So he had this repainted, really think the modern colors look, work really well on it. Love the gray and the black. And even that pinstriping works really well. Most of my photos are with this luggage rack folded up. Just has a pin and can fold up. But that nice piece of luggage does come with this Roadster as well. If you want to show it, that would be a good, good piece to have. Getting into the engine, they came out with a, uh, we'll take a moment to look at this front end. A lot going on. You've got a regular horn, and then you also do have those air horns. Those are fully functional. All the lights work on there as well. But getting into the engine, these came out of the factory with a 454, and they were only pushing 215 horsepower, even with that 454. So they were missing a, uh, missing a bearing. It was basically just a truck motor at that point. Pretty doggy, pretty ineffective. So this now has a 396 in it. And this thing absolutely scoots. Dynode, um, you know, its peak was 500. It's, you know, I guess if you're in a car show, you call it 500. Realistic 440 on the horsepower. But this engine is probably worth 25 grand just alone. It's fully indexed, uh, balanced. The cylinder heads are polished, flowed. It's got an Edelbrock manifold, Mickey Thompson heads. That um, carburetor is a Rochester, which is an 800 quadrajet, and that was indexed as well. All that power goes into a turbo 400 transmission. So, huge upgrade from that 454, even though it's down in cubic inches. So this thing can scoot down the road. And that is a, a hard top that can come off. Um, we believe we have the only soft top 
that was actually uh, built by by the factory by Excalibur and they had the engineers uh, make the soft top for it you actually use this the uh, vinyl covering of this hard top and then put on the bows if you want to go full soft top and fold it down I'm not going to show that but that comes with it and that's probably a one-of-a-kind option that was special made so even the seats were reupholstered with the paint everything came off the paint when this was done high quality job throughout no sort of of uh, fish eyes in there any sort of bubbling peeling etc just a high quality job the interior gorgeous your map light works wood at wood wheel wood accents all over the dash even the shift knob has it and your e-brake as well. Let's go ahead and listen to this engine. Just flick the key, comes right to life. There's your air horns. People know you're coming down the road. All your uh, lights work. And then your brights. And that is a tilt wheel as well. And that little extra piece right there actually goes on the other side of the engine bay. If you're showing that, it just covers up some wires and is a nice touch for show. So seats have no issues to them. Really clean interior, really clean car. As I said, long time owner and the uh, the market in general is lucky that uh, all of a sudden he's clearing out four of his cars, the 77 Excalibur being one of them. So we have an under video of this, under photos as well, lots of cover. If I miss something that you're really looking to know about this car, give me a shout. Give me a shout with your interest. If you'd like to purchase it, I can get you shipping quotes, etc. I'm Shep. I can be reached at 208 721 1973. I appreciate you watching and have a great day.